Daily Prayer Saturday, May 15th, 2021 Saturday of 6th week of Easter Daily Prayer Saturday, May 15th, 2021 Saturday of 6th week of Easter The Holy Gospel according to St. John. When that day comes, you will not ask me anything. Truly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. So far, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and receive that your joy may be full. I have taught you all these things in varied language, but the time is coming when I shall no longer speak in varied language, but will speak to you plainly about the Father. When that day comes, you will ask in my name, and it will not be necessary for me to ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and you believe that I came from the Father. As I came from the Father and have come into the world, so I am leaving the world and going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. May you continue to be open to the presence of God in your life and may you be willing to share that with others. The mission of the church keeps going. It begins with God's love, love which has come incarnate in Jesus, love which reaches out to others through the caring service of those who have experienced God's love. It is a virtuous, good, godly sucker rather than the vicious, evil sucker, examples of which are so obvious in the world today. In the Gospel, Jesus continues his last supper discourse, once again reassuring his followers that Whatever they ask of the Abba Father will be granted if they ask in His name. He speaks of His intimate connection with His Abba. Jesus talks about the positive circle of love that originates in the Godhead. As I reflect on the readings, I was thinking about how different people come into the knowledge and experience of God's love. For some, like Apollos and one of the members of our Bible study, it comes first from a person's intellectual search for meaning in life and in the written word of God. For other, it comes a result of people sharing their personal experience of loving Abba and caring brother, both of whom happen to be the one God in unity with the Holy Spirit. What is the implication of all of this for my life? I sense that I must be both a person of the Word and a person who is willing to care for others so that they may experience the love of God through me. As a person of word, I must reflect regularly on God's word, on God's word, as I have been doing this over the last few of years, rereading passages that I have read many times. I realize I have a new 
understanding of the word, the more I reflect on the word, the more insights I get into the God who has been revealed through the word. I sometimes amaze myself as I see connections between the scripture I read and other aspects of my faith and of my life and the lives of others. I'm also excited that I can share my insights with others through modern technology, reaching friends and acquaintances, some of whom I haven't been able to physically spend time with for a while or at all. I praise God for allowing us to share the Word and the reflections on the Word via the Internet. I give thanks to people throughout the world whom I touch with my sharing on the Word. I thank the Lord Jesus for allowing me to be an instrument in the proclamation of the good news. The other implication of today's reading for me is the challenge to care for others and provide an environment in which they and I can come into a closer relationship with a loving and caring God. I have found that I am enriched as a minister and serve others at home, at work, and in the community. I have been strengthened in my living out God's call to allow them to know God through my loving care. I am blessed as I pray for others, even those whom I haven't seen in years or never met personally, but for whom God brings to my mind to pray. I feel united with others who are churning along the path to the house of our living Abba, who happens to be God. I may not be able to physically walk along with them, but we are united in the word, in thought, in prayer, and in the spirit, in the love of God. God truly blesses us as we leave out the gift of faith which God has given to us. We are empowered to live in a way which shows we are accepting the gift of salus which God has given us. Again, we don't earn our salus salvation that is pure gift. We live lives of doing good in response to the salus we have received from a living, caring, and saving God. We want others to experience the gifts we have received. Our faith and God's love are not something to be kept, but items we want to pass on. And in pass it on, we are given even more faith and love. That's the virtual circle of God's love. That's the process in which we have been invited to participate. Praise God. The personal question or action for today. How much time do I spend on reflecting on the word of God? What more can I do to be a person of the word? How can I share my experience of the Lord Jesus with others? What can I do today, tomorrow, to provide an atmosphere in which others can come into a close relationship with God by experiencing the love which comes from God and God's word and flows through me and others? Let us pray. 
Blessed are you, Lord God, ever living. Through your goodness, you continue to bless us in so many ways. You desire that your new good news reach out to other peoples in all times. You have provided many paths through which people come to you. The best way, the only way, full way, which you have given to us to come to you is your Son, who is the way, the truth, and the life. He has promised that whatever we ask for in his name, you will give us, especially as we help others draw closer to you. We thank you for allowing us to be a part of announcing of your good news. May we continue to appreciate your gifts and give you thanks and praise. May we always be instruments of your good news to those around us. We ask this in Jesus' name, since he promised that you and he would give us whatever we ask for in his name. For he is our Lord and Master, he is your son and our brother, who is living and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Oh, oh, oh.